What's going on there guys and girls and welcome to the newest entry into my weekly gaming news series. If you couldn't guess by the title and the thumbnail, you know what, I think we'll just get straight into it. Pre-warning, in terms of actual news, I had real trouble finding any this week so I kind of had to um, take some um, executive creativity over it so just bear with me, alright? First up is actual news, it's the first couple of official Destiny 2 announcements. Times may be dark, but we are Earth's greatest hope. Look around you. A gathering of noble guardians new and old. Okay, listen up. Um, you're a bunch of dirty misfits, but you're all that's left, so you'll have to do. Everyone knew that Destiny 2 was coming. Most people knew it'd be this year, most likely, but no one knew when exactly or what exactly it'd be about. The wait is over with a confirmed release date of September 8th. Pretty standard blockbuster retail date overall. We know that it 100% definitely is a sequel, obviously, and Cage 6 gets the best lines in both the cinematic trailers. Thank God, because who cares about Zavala? Am I right? Or am I right? Today we know our enemy. His name is Gary! Or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G! Go! As an unashamed super fan of the first Destiny, I'm just too excited at the prospect of starting again. Like, I literally cannot wait. And what's even better is Destiny 2 appears to be focusing on the Cabal. We've had heavy focus on Vex and Fallen, and Destiny 1 even invented new races before focusing on the Cabal. So it's about damn time, Bungie. I'd go more into the trailer, but there's plenty more knowledgeable channels around if you want in-depth analysis. I recommend Planet Destiny, Patrick Casey, my name is Bife and Datto if you are interested in knowing more about the trailers. Basically, it needs to hurry up and take my money already. Ah, uh, yeah, right? That's what I thought. Next up today is Mad Cats filed for bankruptcy. Now, I did say I had to take some creative executive decisions, and while this may not be the most interesting news, it is certainly a shame, basically. For console players, this mostly won't mean much, except for the fact that they were the solo producers of all of the kit for Rock Band 4 and Rock Band 3, I think, but I could be wrong. PC gamers, however, will know them as the longtime manufacturer of gaming peripherals, mainly mouses. They've been well lauded for their mouse designs, with most of them looking like Optimus Prime had one hell of a night with a Tron vehicle, with great quality builds and great general reception, although their software has apparently been a bit shit overall. Over the last year or so, they have seen some major financial difficulties, and in 2016, they actually laid off a third of their staff. And while their gaming peripherals are generally great to look at and use, it is considered overpriced when you look at the fine examples being produced by Razer and Logitech, among others. It's never nice to see a company fade away into bankruptcy, so I had to put it on the list. Hopefully someone buys them out, saves them, otherwise that's some fine gaming history going to waste. Next up, and last up, because I couldn't find any news today, is this the worst Pokemon article of all time? <laughs> it may be overstating it, as I chuckled a few times reading it, but recently the gizmolife.com wrote an article titled Worst 25 Pokemon of All Time. As a huge fan of the Pokemon games, unashamedly, I just had to read it. Now, to be fair to the writer, they do literally put a trigger warning at the start of the article, so I kind of knew what I was getting into, but still, just let me explain. I'm one of those people that couldn't care less what the Pokemon in question look like, as long as they're good, okay? Gigalith looked freaking awesome, but actually sucked. Kinda hard, like really hard. Whereas Executor literally looks like a tree and absolutely wrecked house, okay? This list is so triggering that I had to include it today. Some of these I agree with, like Mashana, like I'm not sure whose drunk idea it was to create a Pokemon that actually looks like a fetus fire him or her because it's grim. But Samurott? This guy was an absolute tank. All the water moves all day long and a lovely well-rounded stats meant I never regretted picking him at the start. I want whatever the writer's smoking. And there's Conkledur. Albeit this guy had a few major weaknesses, but his move pool and sheer attack and defense capabilities made him a great fighting addition. Especially in black and white with not too many other options to go around in this typing. And just look at him. He looks like an absolute nutter. You wouldn't fuck with him, would you? Then there's the inclusion of Bidoof. Now, albeit Bidoof is absolutely useless and the bane of any starting trainer in Diamond and Pearl, but just look at it. Everyone, anyone that says Bidoof isn't adorable is either lying to themselves or has a heart of stone. 
The rest of the inclusions in this article are actually pretty spot on and it's pretty funny overall. So if you're a Pokemon fan, go give it a read. Link is in the description. Unfortunately, that is the end of the video today. It's it's a short video. I'm currently looking at the recording, only on five minutes. I had real difficulty finding any news worth mentioning. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's been like 17 news stories a day from most of the websites, but most of them are either stuff I've already talked about, stuff I want to talk about when we know more, or stuff I just don't really give a shit about, to be honest. Honourable mentions go to new Prey trailers, but seeing as I put a new Prey trailer in, was it last week, week before, I was talking about that game anymore, it's just going to hype me up for it, so it just seems like a waste of my time. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. My name's been Dodge Gaming, you've all been awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. This to yourself. She looked at me, and this is what she said. Oh, there ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't